We have a new little project that John and I have been handling this spring. Actually, I should say John is handling. He's the one that's <laughs> collecting the pollen every morning. Yeah, like a, a and pollen we're here to collect station. pollen this morning. We put on nine pollen traps. Most of these guys are doing pretty good. One of them's a little slow. It's a smaller colony. And these are Sundance traps. We carry them in our store. If anybody's interested in one after this, you could call our store or go online, our website. It should show up on our website. But we're here to collect pollen this morning from two days, and we just wanted to show you what we got going on. So go ahead and show us how you do it, John. Yeah. So that's two days' worth. The only one that I can recognize is blackberry. I don't know. Well, yeah, the blackberry is the dark gray. Um, not sure what the rest is. It's good. It's really good pollen. Yeah, it's really good. So, yeah, we're just here to harvest pollen this morning. <laughs> and we're putting it in the freezer. And this is for our own use. We're not actually selling it. John, you need a bigger Tupperware container, I it think. It is. It just... just barely works. Right. Huh? It goes like that. Then I just brush it down. I did a lot of pollen trapping back in my Oregon days, back in the 1980s. I had a lot of pollen traps and actually collected it to sell and did well with it. Um, here we're just taking it for our own personal consumption. John and Selena and I all want to eat pollen all winter long. So we're trying to get many gallons of it. And we're well on our way. How many gallons do we have in the freezer, John? We're on our sixth gallon right now. Sixth gallon? You're yeah. probably going to get another half gallon or more out of here today. Oh, no. Well, yeah, this would be probably a gallon. Yeah. yeah. A gallon. So pollen's good for human beings, in my opinion. There might be some debate to that. I think it's good food for people. <clears throat> Every, every other colony here is facing the opposite direction. These drawers are coming out of the back. This is the back of the colony where the drawers are. So see, this is the front, so the drawer would be in the back of this colony. That one did really good. Yeah, wow, that's, that's good for two days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and it's important to collect it often. In fact, we've been collecting it every day, but yesterday was a weird day and we weren't able to get it. Um, I like to get it in the freezer while it's still really fresh. I think the reason that you would want to collect it often is so it doesn't go rancid or mildew or anything. It's, it, pollen is fairly moist. Yeah, it is. that's what it's, the weight of it is pushing into the... See that, now that's... Two days, it's kind of sticky on the screen. That wasn't happening after one day, was it? No, the, <clears throat> I, th I think from the weight of it, it just literally mushes it into the. You might be right. Plus, we've had a lot of rain in the last two days, well, yeah, too. It's been, yeah, it's been steadily yeah, raining. Yeah, do the best you can with that. Yeah, that's what the, the paintbrush is about the best thing I can find. And it's coming out right. pretty clean. I mean, we're really not seeing much to clean out of this stuff. Oh, no. There's a. Uh... I think the Sundance trap does a pretty good job of keeping it clean. The traps I used in Oregon, we really had to work at cleaning the pollen. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are good traps. I mean, that was the side one. That's the only one we had that comes out the side. Yeah, they did fair. They got more pollen. We don't sell the side trap, side drawer version. We sell the back drawer version. Oh, okay, okay. And what we did is we coated these things in raw linseed oil before we put them on. I might get them painted next season, but we wanted to get them on fast, so we coated the outer wood with raw linseed oil before we put them on. And then the way these are built, if you lower this little door here, you effectively give them an entrance that bypasses. A little sticky hive tool would push that down. <laughs> Anyway, that would bypass the entrance, but we're not going to do that. When the pollen slows down and we don't want to trap anymore, we're just going to take the traps off. They've been on for a couple weeks, and I think we've got a couple more weeks of good pollen flow before we take them off. I don't think it's a good idea to leave them on when the pollen flow is slow because I want the colonies to have all the pollen. These are, uh, I don't know what the percentage, I know the ones in Oregon that I had were about 50 or 60 percent efficient. In other words, half the pollen got in and half ended up in the drawer. 
I'm not sure the exact number on a sun dance. They're built much the same way. The bees have to pass through a screen that is one-fifth of an inch square. In other words, it's a fifth of an inch hardware cloth, sort of like quarter inch or eighth inch hardware cloth. It's fifth of an inch hardware cloth. And that works. That uh, gets half the pollen or so. I don't see much pollen yet this morning. It's early. The sun has just come up. So they'll be bringing more pollen in later. Their day is just starting, just like our day is just starting. They got more and more white. <coughs> white. That's yeah, it's more the white. Then, that's what's neat seeing the different I'll bet colors. That's, that's probably poplar, I'll bet. Because oh. you know the bees get that white pollen on their backs when they're working poplar poplar okay. blossoms, so that might be poplar. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the different colors in the different colonies, you know, it's pretty neat. Yeah, that's interesting too. Not every colony yeah, gets the same it. pollen. You can see the difference. Yeah, this one's way different. Yeah. They do the same thing with nectar too, you know. You'll see some colonies make one type of nectar while the one next door is making something entirely different. Right, right. Mm. Same. Yeah, it's neat. It is. John was so excited about this. It's been <laughs> fun. John's having more fun with this than I am. I, I love, I don't know why I love pollen so much. Like, <laughs> not like necessarily eating it, just the idea of it. I don't know why. Well, you are eating, you you you're wanting some of this, right? To oh, eat yeah, this one yeah. Too? But that, yeah, but that's exciting too, but you know, just the, yeah. uh, I don't know. It's something cool about it. You have to see it. I know your wife Jessica wants some. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So what we're going to do when we're done collecting is we're going to throw it all in a big container and mix it up so it's all mixed. Yeah, and then we're going to divide it up. See in the bags the different yeah. colors. As it's been yeah. Well, let's look at one more drawer and then I'll turn the camera off. Okay. Yeah, I'll get Yeah, I just care. Hmm, let me have some of that. <laughs> That's a good amount of pollen. I'm going to have at least a heaping tablespoon every day. <laughs> I can't eat that much at once. It just builds up in my mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's thick. It's really thick. Yep. I'm done talking. Yeah, it's about, <laughs> yeah. I was wondering. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a that's a lot. That's a good amount of power. All right, good job, Don. Cool. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs>